Hi everybody, I'm Chris Bach at Extron, and here I am with our new and exciting NAV AV over IP solution. I'm going to talk to you about our encoders and our decoders and also the navigator we've got, the master controller that if you've got a number of these endpoints on your network and you're using the network as the matrix, it would control the ties between one and the other. The encoders and the decoders come in one gig families, so if you have a network with one gigabit nodes on the endpoints, you'd go with one of those. There's also 10G versions that are available for encoders and decoders, which if you've got a bigger pipe and a bigger, better network, then you could use those. They are cross compatible. So if you have a one gig encoder, you can go to a 10 gig decoder and vice versa. But if you have a 10 gig stream, an encoder, you would have to back off the bit rate so that it didn't exceed one gigabit if you had a one gig decoder at that point. There's a lot going on here. They have pure three, Vector 4K going on, so 4K60, 444, 18 gigabit HDMI 2 chipsets going on in there, visually lossless. We're taking care of the video, the audio, 232, and IR, and both of those are actually tied into an Extron control processor of your choosing, which extends the port count and capabilities of that processor by spitting out of these endpoints directly. If you get the 100 series, you get all of that. If you get the 500 series, we also add Ethernet extension on top of everything else we just talked about and USB extension. So the USB extender built in here is actually kind of cool because it's a USB-C connector. So we can configure it to connect to either a host a computer or a peripheral like a keyboard or a mouse or a thumb drive or a this or a that. So you can extend all that over your network. If you have a one gig encoder, you get 100 base T. If you have a 10 gig encoder and decoder, you can extend gigabit Ethernet at that point. They all support 802.1x port-based access control. They also have secure RTP for the stream itself. And the latency for the whole thing, encoder and decoder, is less than a frame. So at this point, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact your Extron rep. Thanks for watching.